Jessica, a naturalist here at Northwest Trek, and you're watching the Trek video question of the week. Visitors here to the park usually have an easy time identifying what animal they're seeing, and if they ever have questions, they can read the animal ID graphics or ask any one of our friendly staff for help. But out in the wild, it can be a little bit more challenging. So we're here with wetlands keeper Jess to find out if we see an otter in the wild, how do we tell if it's a river otter or a sea otter? That's actually a really good question. And the first thing you want to look for is where are you seeing the animal? Uh, so typically, if you see something that you think is an otter and it's on land, or it's in any kind of freshwater system like a river or a lake, then that's pretty much going to be a river otter. Very rarely do sea otters ever go on land, if at all. They likely will spend most of their entire lives in an ocean system. A river otter can also be found in an ocean, so if you see an animal that's in the ocean, you could possibly be looking at either a sea or a river otter. So then you want to look at how is it behaving. The sea otters are the ones that can float entirely on top of the water with their entire bellies up. River otters can float on their backs a little bit and show a little bit of their belly, but they can't sustain it on top of the water for very long. They need to keep moving. And most often you're going to see them swimming in the water with their bellies down and their back above the surface. Finally, you want to look at size. A sea otter is going to be much larger than a river otter, but it's going to have a shorter tail. And a river otter is going to have a smaller body, but a much longer tail for its body shape. So those would be the main things that you would want to look at. Great. Thanks, Jess. Mm -hmm. To see our playful otters in action, come out to Trek for a visit. And to learn more about the park, check us out online at nwtrek.org.